Greetings Multiverse! Warner Brothers and NetherRealm have announced the legendary edition of Injustice 2 which will be out on March the 30th and will contain all the DLC released up until this point. That includes Darkseid, Red Hood, Starfire, Sub-Zero, Black Manta, Raiden, Hellboy, Atom, Anchargers, Power Girl, Jon Stewart, Green Lantern, Verse Flash, Grid, Black Lightning and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In addition to this it will also include the introduction of the Learn Hub, the game's expanded tutorial, new gear items for all characters, an increase of the character level cap to 30 and a new augment slot available at level 30. We ourselves have confirmed with Warner Brothers that all of this will be available for regular owners of Injustice 2 as well. All this is well and good, although it's still a little bit annoying for PC owners who have only just gotten the game and we're not quite sure of the benefits of getting the Legendary Edition over just Injustice 2 with the Ultimate pack. In fact, there doesn't seem to be much at all. But on the other hand, it's nice to have it in one complete pack that you know exactly what it contains. But of course, this raises one further question and probably an answer. Will there be a Fighter Pack 4? And I think the answer is no, there won't be. If this is the Complete Edition, the Game of the Year Edition, whatever you want to call it, there will be no more content for Injustice 2. And that's quite sad news, especially as if you caught that list, that included two Mortal Kombat characters, two characters who are not from DC, and a heck of a lot of no Beast Boy. And that is really annoying. There's no Constantine, no Watchmen characters, only two female characters, and once again, no Beast Boy. So we were really hoping there would be more fighter packs, which you'd have to pay extra for, but we don't mind as long as they're good characters. And unfortunately, the release of the Legendary Edition completely cuts off all hope. There will not be a fighter pack 4 or any further fighters released for Injustice 2. We might get more events like an Aquaman event or hopefully costumes based on the TV shows like The Flash, The Atom from Legends of Tomorrow, etc. Like the mobile version has been getting, but there will not be any more brand new fighters coming to Injustice 2. Are we sad about this? A little, but at the end of the day, another realm are just one studio and they have to move on at some point. After a year of support for Injustice 2, or a year of a new fighter every month, it's time for them to move on, probably to the next Mortal Kombat game. Because at some point, they're going to want to do Injustice 3. But what do you guys think? Are you upset at the lack of a fighter pack 4? Are you sad that this is basically it for Injustice 2, or the beginning of the end for Injustice 2? Or are you excited about more from Never Realm or the prospect of an Injustice 3. Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to DC Comics Gamer for everything on Injustice 2 and the world of DC Comics. Thanks for watching guys. Multiverse out.